Thank you Evoto for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to perfectly retouch your photos in minutes, make sure you check out Evoto. What's up everybody? So today we are actually here in Chicago at the Chicago Board of Trade Building. Uh, this video is going to be covering a photo shoot that I do with a few models. I'm gonna be using my Sony a7 III and then afterwards I'm gonna show you all how to speed up your editing workflow with a new software on the market called Evoto. So we're gonna first take our photos, you're gonna see how that goes. Um, and then from there, I'm going to take you home and show you how I edit and retouch the photos on my computer. This shoot was for a floral brand and I decided to shoot in downtown Chicago because I thought the city would look great in the background of these photos. When shooting portraits with natural light, it's all about the placement of the model and the angle that the light is coming from. Here you'll notice that the light was reflecting from the opposite side of the building, so I placed her against the columns. One thing to keep in mind when shooting with motion is that you do need a fast shutter speed to capture crisp shots. You'll notice I'm also taking advantage of the symmetry that the streets are creating behind the model. But of course, when shooting on the street, always have someone looking out for you and be aware of the upcoming traffic. Here are these gorgeous columns and I had her move a little to the left so that the columns were framing her body and she would be the focus of the shot. Now if you want to spice things up then you can introduce a reflector to your natural light portraits. What that's going to do is bounce some light off from below and balance out the shadows. In this case the natural light was pretty even so I didn't need to use it. All the photos you're seeing here were retouched and fully edited with Evoto. If you're tired of spending hours manually retouching your portraits or you're new to photo editing, Evoto is the perfect solution for you. With its AI editing, this software takes the hard work out of retouching and helps you achieve stunning results in minutes. This shoot lasted about an hour and a half and for the final shots, I pulled a few of the roses out of the bouquet and had her pose on a ledge to create a variety of looks for the shoot. Hey guys, so now that I'm back at home, I'm gonna show you all how I edit my photos with Ovoto. If you're anything like me, you don't like spending hours upon hours retouching each photo individually in Photoshop. That's where Evoto is amazing. So I've used other AI editors in the past and honestly none of them can compare to how good Evoto is. So this one is surprisingly amazing and the photos come out super high quality and crisp and the results will amaze you. So I'm going to show you all now on my computer how Evoto works and you can see yourself. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is open the Evoto software. Now this is a free download that you can get on their website, create a new project and name your project. Now, once you've named and saved your project, you're going to want to upload your photos into this and you can just drag and drop or you can actually pull them in like I am into Evoto, just like that. And it'll upload your photos into the project. All right, so once we have the photos imported, we can check these out and then 
start applying our edits to the photos. So here's one that I think would be a great reference image to show you all the power of this tool. Um, they have presets available on Evoto that you can use. And I'm just gonna put on this high-end set and show you all the results. So just like that, it's already retouched the skin, the eyes, it's even removed blemishes from the body as well. Maybe you want to adjust the editing yourself. So you can also create your own presets. So I'm gonna show you all how to do that with any photo first. So I'm gonna put on this filter P09 and then reduce the intensity of it. You can also increase the exposure of the shot, the temperature of the shot, and then the contrast. I'll reduce the highlights and increase the shadows. From there, I'm gonna put a little curve onto this photo for some contrast. So this would be a basic edit that I would do in Lightroom. Now, one of the best features of a, a photo is its retouching tools. Now, here is the retouching. It's identified that this is a female, and I'm just gonna pull the face, frink, uh, the face freckled acne removal up, and you'll see the difference from this so far. I'm also gonna increase the body blemish so this removes any blemishes from the body. I'm going to increase the fixed ink oily face slider and the forehead wrinkling, the eye wrinkle reducer, the dark circles reducing, the smile folds reducing, the neck wrinkles reducing. And then we can also go into the face retouching section so I'm just going to pull this all the way to about 70 here and you'll see the difference of this on the skin already. We're also going to do the face skin smoothing and the body skin smoothing. So you have complete control over your retouch. You can also add custom skin colors into your photo here. So I'm going to choose this bright white slash yellow one and then reduce the intensity of that to about 18. Look at the difference. And here's a direct comparison side by side, the before photo and the after photo. You're gonna see how amazing this program is at retouching, how perfect it makes the skin look. Wherever it's blown up like this, it doesn't lose any of the detail and it looks like a high-end professional retouch. So I just wanted to pull up a side-by-side -side comparison so you all can see how powerful this tool is especially with retouching. Now I'm gonna head back over to Evoto and I'm gonna show you all one of the most powerful features of this is that you can save and sync a preset and apply it to multiple photos at once. So I'm just gonna select these and I'm going to click sync and it syncs those photos for you. Check this edit out already, the before and the after before and after. So you can see that it really smoothens out the skin. Um, it applies all of the color adjustments to this as well as the retouching features. Now when you're ready, you can save this as a preset so that you can apply it to future photos. So I'm just gonna name this preset here. And now I can use it on all the rest of my photos. Now I wanna show you all how easy it is to increase your eye brightness. So normally, increasing the eye brightness in Photoshop is a tedious thing to edit manually, but you can definitely use this feature to take your photos to the next level. So I'm gonna apply the same preset that I had used. I can also go into the eye brightness section right here and just pull and simply pull up the slider to increase this eye brightness. And it really does make the photo pop. So you're gonna see a before and after. 
And it, you can also sync this to multiple different photos and it will apply those edits with no time at all. Another feature that's possible with a photo is a background replacement, um, or it can also clean up the background for a studio photo shoot. So with a photo, it's very quick and easy and it can completely replace the background of your photo. So here's how you'll do that. You'll just go over to this section right here for the background adjustments, and then you can click red. It'll take a second to do that and you'll see that it's clean cut. And you can also cut out an image here, make it a transparent photo. The next feature that I wanna show you all is the body reshaping tools that they have available. Now, if you've ever had your model ask for a small adjustment to their body or their face, look at how easy this is to accomplish in a photo. So you'll just go to this tab here. You'll click on the face reshaping and then you'll go to the nose section and simply pull down the size. So I just pulled down the size of the nose here with the face reshaping tool. And you can see the before and after of this side by side. It is subtle and that's what's good about it. It's very subtle. Um, to any outsider, you wouldn't be able to notice that this has been retouched and made smaller, but it looks very natural, which is very important when you're trying to deliver high quality images. So now I'm going to export this photo I'm going to show you all how this looks with a side-by-side -side comparison. These photos were completely edited from raw files to the final JPEG that you see right here within Envoto. And you can see the detail that is still in the photo while still having a completely high-end retouch look in minutes with a photo. And the best part is, is that you can save and sync these across multiple files so that you don't have to spend all your time adjusting each photo manually. Most AI editors have a month to month subscription that you have to pay for and they're very expensive, but Evoto, you pay by credits. So each image that you export, you will pay per credit and it's actually much more affordable than most subscription systems. Um, they also have five credits for free that you can get whenever you first sign up. I'm going to show you all their website here. So just go to Evoto AI and then that's how you can get your free download for the tool. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you all want to see more photography related content, I'm going to be putting out weekly videos on this YouTube channel like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more. Also check out my page Bleach Film on Instagram. It's a photography community that I've been running for over 10 years. Um, every single day we post awesome photography tips and tutorials and you can be featured on our magazine if you want to check that out too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.